This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning for July 22, 2023, suspect in custody for fatal stabbing of call center worker. The police in Brownstown, St. Anne, have taken a man into custody in connection with the stabbing death of a 22-year-old call center worker on Friday. Andre MacDonald, otherwise called the Seago, a resident of Tracy District, St. Anne, was killed at an entertainment event in the community. It's alleged that a dispute developed between MacDonald and the suspect about 12.30 a.m. and a sharp object was used to cut MacDonald in the back. Patrons reportedly separated the two, and MacDonald went home and returned with a knife and attacked the suspect. Another physical tussle ensued, during which MacDonald was stabbed in his upper body and collapsed. He was rushed to hospital, but later died from his injuries. An investigation was launched, and the suspect was held by the police on suspicion of murder. Baker arrested for using profanity at a Sumfest Dancehall artist Biko was arrested for using profanity as he performed on night one of Reggae Sum Fest, now underway in Montego Bay, St. James. The artist, whose given name is Ronaldo Billings, was called off stage with about two minutes remaining in his set after he ignored warnings to desist from using expletives. Baker was taken to the police post at the Catherine Hall Entertainment Center, where the festival is being held. May God tell any other artists will come on the stage tonight. The police are very adamant that any one of you curse any curse word, you will be sanctioned to the Montego Bay Police Station. Cancer never did one Uno, host Pretty Boy Floyd warned as a beaker left the stage. He also told the patrons, Uno can boo all you want, Uno now go to jail with them. Finance Minister hits out at the prosecutors over industrial action. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark has labeled as improper the industrial action staged by attorneys in the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. The attorneys withdrew their service Thursday in protest over issues related to compensation. They also issued a letter signed concerned the prosecutors of the Office of the Director of Public Service in which they outlined their concerns over their compensation and the conditions of work. But the finance minister said the prosecutors stepped outside of established processes and a good order by not going through their bargaining unit, the Legal Officers Staff Association. To send a shadow correspondence hiding behind a name called concerned prosecutors with no ability to reach an individual and then to use that as a pretext because I can't get back to you, I don't know who has sent it, to use the fact that I haven't got back to you as a pretext to withdraw your services to the people of Jamaica is a new law. Processes matter. And I would expect that of all occupations in this country, prosecutors would know that. Furthermore, the Ministry of Finance and Public Service only engages with groups that are duly recognized as representative of occupational groupings within the public sector. We engage with persons who have the bargaining rights for occupational groups. And in this case, the bargaining rights belong to LOSA. The country cannot give in to renegade elements. Jamaica is out of business if we begin to do that. People can have legitimate areas of dissatisfaction, but there, there are established means of expressing those. And uh, we will make ourselves available in uh, the context of what is occurring uh, with the priority prioritization that I just uh, described to hear matters where people are dissatisfied. I have high expectations of prosecutors of all the groups in the country, of all of them. The one group that I expect to abide by established procedure are the prosecutors. And we will not support renegade activities by, uh, by especially prosecutors in this country. There's an established means of having uh, grouses uh, or grievances heard. Serial rapist who posed as the taxi operator sentenced to 26 years in prison. Duane Edwards, a confessed serial rapist who used a taxi cab to abduct, rape, and rob women in a series of attacks in Kingston four years ago, was on Friday sentenced to 26 years in prison. 
Edwards, who was sentenced in the Home Circuit Court, is to serve 18 years before being eligible for parole. The convict, who pleaded guilty in March for sex crimes, was sentenced to eight years at hard labor for forcible abduction, 26 years and eight months at hard labor for rape, and 10 years at hard labor for robbery with aggravation. The sentences are to run concurrently. The serial rapist was in 2021 convicted for similar offenses and was sentenced to 19 years imprisonment. Prosecutors say Edwards and his co accused the Michael Swibby, posing as a passenger and a driver, had been on the police's radar for several years. They were arrested in 2018 following several complaints of women being abducted and sexually assaulted after entering a taxi cab. Swaby was also convicted and is serving a 38-year sentence. Al-Gaji worried about counselor's safety following murder of Ainsley Parkins. Winston Maraj, president of the Association of Local Government Authorities of Jamaica, says that Thursday's shooting death of People's National Party counselor for the South Bar Division, Ainsley Parkins, has sent shockwaves throughout municipal corporations across the island. In an interview with the news on Friday, Mr. Maraj, who is mayor of Mipen, urged the authorities to ensure the killing of the councillor is not the start of a trend to attack politicians. He lamented that Mr. Parkins was killed while overseeing work in his division, adding that all our members are saddened by the incident. Mayor Maraj said councillors must now seriously consider their security arrangements. Well, al took note of the, the fact that the councillor for the South Borough Division, Mr. Parkin, was murdered yesterday in his car whilst overseeing some work in the division. And we are really saddened by this incident, and we are hoping that it is not the beginning of such acts against political representatives or elected representatives. And we hope that this is not a trend that has started in this, in, in, in this, in this um, area. And of course, um, we are really saddened and all our members are saddened. I can tell you this much, that in our, in our WhatsApp group, every member, every councillor has been expressing sadness. It, it is now causing us to, to think about the possibility of councillors as an elected representative um, to look at having a security per personnel around them at all times. Um, whether it be a security guard or a police officer, and I understand police officers are stretched uh, for personnel, uh, but it is something that we definitely will have to look at and we will be having discussions around this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.